What's the stupidest thing you ever seen a religious person call satanic? So my mom's friend is a bit overweight and likes to go to church a lot. She enjoys wearing the color black because it's slimming. Her pastor told her that wearing black all the time was of the devil. LOL. What about priests? Do they count? Deviled eggs. I cringe every time a family calls them angel eggs. That's an unexpectedly disturbing image. Pokemon. And the magic school bus. The magic school bus. WTF. Dungeons and Dragons. The Welsh flag. One of the most badass. Going to a different church. Not like a different kind of church, for example Catholic Evangelic. I mean the same kind of building. Just two blocks away from their own. Go to steer clear of those hellbound Methodists they allow women preachers. No. Seriously. This was the bullshit circulated by the local Southern Baptist cartel back in the day. Long hair. They had a very convoluted explanation of why it was okay for Jesus but not 80s me. But I can't remember it. Hell. There's literally a supernatural champion of God that needs his long hair, Samson. Love to see how they'd skirt around that one. When I was younger and I'd wear shirts with skulls on them my mom would say that it was satanic. My reply was, you have a skull in your head. Is your head satanic? OMG. You just reminded me of my Catholic HS days when I wore a skater shirt that was a bunch of skeletons and some repeating pattern. The school pastor called it the Satan shirt. For the record. Not that it relates. But after graduating I learned that this pastor was removed from his school job because he was caught buying the kids beer and then hanging out with them at parties. Good time. I had a co-worker who switched vets because one of the employees had a zombie sticker on their car. She didn't trust Satan worshippers with taking care of her dog. She's also the person who informed me gay marriage had been legalized. I came into work and heard her crying loudly. So I figured her dog must have died and went in her office to try to console her. I asked her what was wrong and she blurted out. They legalized gay marriage. God is going to send hurricanes and wildfires to cleanse our country. I said. Oh. And walked out. The saddest thing is she probably thinks she's right with all the hurricanes and wildfires. Considering she didn't believe in climate change. I have an aunt who believes gay marriage will be the end of the world. Every time something bad happens she blames it on gay marriage. Not gay people. But gay marriage. She believes marriage should be between man and woman and it's a scared bond that shouldn't be sullied. She's been married and divorced six times. Yet she still doesn't see the irony or hypocrisy. Boys having long hair. The man's hair barely reached his neck. The funniest part is the fact that Christ himself is always portrayed as having hair that reaches a bit below his shoulders. I'm pretty sure that there is even some guy in the Bible, not sure on his name, that is very strong or something like that because of his long hair. So the argument of boys with long hair being satanic makes even less sense. Jazz. For those asking why. Lest we forget that jazz was invented by black people. And was therefore deemed immoral. They said the exact thing about rock and roll in the 50s. In my country a few years back this big church ran TV channel did an over the top news segment saying UGO cards were the devil's deck of cards and had Christian families going nuts about it. Oh my god my mom had a friend convince her that Pokemon and UGO were satanic when me and my brother were kids. Pokemon obviously because it promotes Darwinism and UGO because something about a pentagram? I wouldn't know. I never got into UGO. Wonder why. It's a tie between black or dark nail polish. Pokemon and tattoos. Oh and Borsch's work but that kinda makes sense. Hieronymus Borsch's work was deeply religious and was commissioned by the church. It is filled with religious symbolism and is absolutely in line with the Catholic teachings of the time. If I remember correctly the leader of the Free Presbyterian Church called line dancing satanic. The kind of dancing that was literally designed so men and women wouldn't touch lol. Harry Potter movies and Halloween. A theme park a couple of cities over has this yearly Halloween theme. I've read a lot of messages on Twitter demanding to close the theme park forever so that Satan could be contained there. Like. WTF. Doom. I realize this was at the height of video games paranoia but like. It's a game where you do nothing other than brutalize demons. Possibly the most righteously holy game ever made. So much so I'm surprised it doesn't have a Templius port. 
Catholic man fights demons to save humanity. Obvious Satanism. Grew up during the satanic panic of the 80s. So pretty much everything thankfully not by my parents. I had a cool silver skull ring and my old boss said it was from Satan whatever the fuck that means. Satan made it for you. Quoting the Bible. In a conversation with an evangelically religious Christian. He said that my ability to quote the Bible so well to make false flaws appear was a satanic gift. Not gonna lie. I was flattered a little. As you should be you rattled that person and they were not expecting you to be able to do so. A real mindfuck. Women wearing pants. This is how I was raised. My mom would not let me wear pants. Dresses and skirts only. She caught me wear pants one time and whooped my butt for it. She also had a thing about underwear too. I was a maternity case manager who visited patients in their homes. I arrived at a house to visit a pregnant teenager and her mother. On the porch was a large concrete winged gargoyle statue. I knocked. Was greeted and invited in. I mentioned to the mother that I liked the statue. She flipped from cordial and welcoming to raving lunatic ranting about the statue being demonic. Possession. That sort of thing. Completely lost her crap. She was terrified of it. She told me to take the statue if I wanted it. I did just that. Made even funnier because gargoyles are supposed to scare demons away. I went to the gas station the other day in a rush to grab a refreshment. I had on a misfit shirt. I went in respectfully and when I got to the cashier. She glared at me. Then she proceeded to call me an ugly demon and that I was going to hell for wearing that shirt. It really fucked with my day. Edit. Thank you fellow fiends with all the love and support. Fuck that old hag mommy. Can I go out and kill tonight? Deleted. Hello kitty. The creator of her apparently made a pact with Satan to save his daughter or something. I think it's some creepy pastor. But one Polish priest really said that hello kitty is Satanist. Dude she's a fucking mouthless talking cat in a dress who has remained the same age for over 40 years. Clearly possessed or demonic. I remember one time I was walking around somewhere and some randomly lady who was acting seemingly not normal. Suddenly started screaming as soon as she saw me and my brother. She started acting erratic and shouting that me and my brother were the antichrist. And that has to be the stupidest one. Had a woman do that to me and my sister once. But I corrected her by pointing to my sister and saying. She's the antichrist. I'm the uncle Christ. Get it right. The DreamWorks film home. Any idea why? Meatloaf. The artist. The singer or the food. Not surprised by either. Washing machine. Apparently if you watched the swirling motion for too long. You would get hypnotized and the devil could enter your head. So be warned. Smurfs. I'm not even gonna ask how. I grew up in the Gulf Coast of the US. When I was in elementary school in the mid 90s. My teacher had just got back from her holiday in the UK and brought a brand new book that was all the rage over there. It was of course Harry Potter and the Philosophers, Sorcerers, Stone. Our teacher got probably halfway through before being forced to stop by the school and overbearing parents once the word got out for teaching witchcraft. Calling the book satanic. Ridiculous. I will say that this nonsense with witchcraft and public schools finally stopped around when the first film came out. It didn't stop everywhere. They were having church book burnings up until few years ago and as a teacher I was forbidden from referring to it in any way.